we're dining at Frontera Cocina. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the theme park foods, and please excuse me if I butchered the way you say cocina. Did no, I say it right, Sam? Is right. I said it right. <laughs> okay, so we're eating at a Mexican kitchen that can be found in Disney Springs, a place that has been highly regarded to us from friends. Yeah, this was never on our radar before, to be yes. honest. Yeah. You know, and our friends who are very trustworthy people. Yes. They said, suggested that we You got to here. come here. You got to so, come and here. I, I, have putting all my faith into them. They're not steering us wrong. Yeah, first thing I want to say is that I think Frontera Cocina is in a great area. We haven't tried the food yet, but I can tell you that it has a very scenic view, a kind of like uh, the waterway here at Disney Springs. It's in the town center area, right, it Sam? Is, it and is. it's right near uh, the Sprinkles. The, yeah, Sprinkles and Deluxe Burger, which we do have a video trying out some of the burgers at Deluxe Burger. If you want to check out that video, how'd you go? What do you think I'm gonna say? If you cup, ever... cup. Yes. For Frank. Cupcake. Yeah, I figured I'd do something. You can get a little. <laughs> you can do stop at the cupcake ATM. Yes, there is a cupcake ATM if you want to get treats for your dogs at Sprinkles. Or yourself, they have regular yes. cupcakes. Too. Frank gets lots of treats, just so you guys know. He's not at uh, a loss of any treats. We don't get them in this video. We have okay. gotten them in previous video, and maybe we'll get them today for Frank. We are. But okay. <laughs> but the main reason we're here is to try out all the Mexican food and all the happenings oh. at Frontera Cheap. Well, a lot of the Mexican food. I can't eat all of it. But I'm definitely gonna try some of the things that they're known for. See the highlights. Check out whether the cuisine is authentic or not. Although you, I don't think I'm a expert on it. Do you know who it's created by? Who? No. You don't know. I Celebrity don't know. chef Rick Bayless. Oh, there so. you go. So I'm, 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 there's a lot of celebrity chefs down here at Disney Springs. You got Jose Andres, you got Art Smith, Art Smith. you got Morimoto, the it's Iron like Chef. It's like the battle of the celebrity chefs at <laughs> yeah. Disney Springs. Yeah, now I'm really excited. Oh, are you I'm ready? Excited. I'm always oh. excited to eat Mexican food, even if it's just Taco Bell. So. Me too. If you enjoyed the content, mm -hmm. please like and subscribe. Join us while we dine on fancy Mexican cuisine here mm -hmm. at Disney Springs. Just so you guys know how close Frontera Cucina is, Two sprinkles. There's oh, Frontera Cocina is not Italian. Two sprinkles. It was Italian to be Cocina. That's Frontera Cocina on the left and sprinkles on the right. All right, so Sam, we had to get Frank the pup cups. So here we are at the Sprinkles ATM. It's right in front of Sprinkles. Ooh, they have a Twix. Oh, that sounds good. <gasps> I don't see them. I'm sure we'll find them. All right, so we had to go inside to get the pup cakes because they were out at the ATM. So just so you know, you can go inside if you see something out at the ATM. You may have it in here, like Frank's pup cake. All right, we are now inside. Oh, the bar back there looks nice. Looks like they kind of have like an open kitchen back there too. Sam, so we just sat down and I want to say this menu is definitely not as uh, as in, uh, I, I was about to say impressive. They have a little ava, avocado. Oh, oh yeah, I remember hearing that. You might need to get that, Sam. Yeah. Overwhelming, that was what I was looking for. I'm trying something new. Yeah. <laughs> they, have, they do have the uh, QR code, but they gave us the paper menus, thankfully, so they have that option. And yeah, the, the menu is not as overwhelming as T-Rex Cafe. So definitely a lot easier for menu. All right, Sam, so the food is here. Uh, we got the queso fundido, as well as a half and half little special that they have, guacamole, and then it's like a pumpkin hummus, right? I am so like gringo. <laughs> I am a gringo. <laughs> I really like this shot too, uh, with your, you have like the sun above your head, like the goddess that you are trying out some queso fundido chips. They also provided us some like fresh tortillas. I think I'm gonna try the tortilla out when I try my when I try out my fundido. And I also want to bring up the restaurant. The restaurant is very beautiful. Uh, you can see very vibrant. Yes. And I think that those colors are gonna translate over into the dishes as yeah. well. You could also see like Mexican artifacts across the wall. Um, the atmosphere definitely has the experience. These are legit so, okay, so let's uh, let's remove the chip from the equation. What do you think of the fundido? You know, it's good. I don't think it's the best 
okay so that I have. It is really good though. Okay. And they also each of the onions and poblano peppers in it. Ooh. I feel like it's you're, you're supposed to have those tortillas with it. So I'm gonna try mine out with a tortilla. Hopefully that'll accentuate the experience a bit. So what would you give the queso itself? A seven. Okay, um, and the chip with just plain chip. Okay. Okay, so this is what the tortillas come in. I'm not used to it. I even tried to do a B-roll shot. But you gotta open them up. You gotta they slide out. They're like a baby in a blanket. Yes. They're very warm. You can smell the corn. Frank in a blank, as I would say. <laughs> And then uh, let's uh, let's get a little fun dito. Oh, I burned myself. Don't touch that. That's not a smart thing to do. All right. Look at that. Look at that goo. You always want a good goo. You know. That's that's a that's a cheesy queso. I mean, not that I would expect anything less. It's a chihuahua. Chihuahua. Well, I think I'm thinking too much now. Cause I didn't want all this. There we go. There we go. Okay. I just didn't want to fill up on the tortilla. Yeah, it is a bit. Not that like the chip is any better, but. So we didn't try any of this sauce yet, so let's get a little bit of that on there. It is good. I, I didn't mean to act like it wasn't. <laughs> I just think, I think I like Anahito's queso. Oh no, there's somewhere that has really good queso. That's real cheese. It's not like the queso you get when you go like, oh, it's queso, it's that melted nacho cheese. That is just pure melted cheese on a sizzling hot plate. It's very good. It's definitely authentic with queso flavor. Best queso I ever had? I would agree with Sam Hill. No, you know whose queso I like? Uh, La Hacienda. Yes. They have great queso. They have I think great. this is awesome queso. Not downing. The tortilla makes it too. Because it's a fresh corn tortilla. You add that corn flavor in it, and you add this little fresh sauce on top of it. Um, I'll do for seven. seven for me. Okay, so this is two options. Guac, pumpkin seed hummus. I don't even know what these things are. Oh, this is like a vegetable. Maybe you can take that. Pick them up there. Pick them up. Oh, pick them up. Okay, okay. Pick them up. I'm not saying it right. All right, Sam, look at that, look at that. There we go. All right, so there's the guac. I like the presentation. small amount of guac though. I know that this is a half and half thing, but I feel like you could eat that just yourself and you have to share with three other people. That'd be the best guac I ever had. That's very good guac. I want you to try it. The little seeds. I, I got a little pumpkin in there too. But like, it just tastes so fresh. Don't you have that cilantro on top? And that was pumpkin seed on Wow. Good. Were you just like praising Jesus? Very good. <laughs> Very good. I'm giving both these a nine. Wow. Delicious. If you if, if you want to dispute it, we'll show you disputing it. But for me, this is like I don't want to. I don't want to dispute. I dispute you enough at home. All right, Sam has gotten an avocado margarita from Frontera. Cocina. So this is not the La Cava version. This is their own version. Oh, uh, it is the La Cava version, but it is at a different location. Those ones in La Cava be strong though. I feel like it was cheaper. Yes, they are very. Good. I had one with, with Nick. I, yes, this is delicious. It does not taste as strong as. Yeah, I was feeling it. I mean, given I'm not a drinker, but I had one last time and I was like, I shouldn't be feeling it this much off of one drink, yeah, you know. I remember when I met up with you after you had that drink. <laughs> yeah. We actually filmed the vlog after that. That, you, that will never see the light of day. We did not post the vlog because we looked so shot. I was very tired. So what would you give this? How would you compare it to La Cava? And what would you rate it, one out of 10? I think it's just as good as La Cava, but not as strong. But I don't mind that, because I don't want to feel like, right now, like I'm like, not the It's not the time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm about to eat Mexican lot of food, just eat like a crazy drink. So where would you it's rate it? Oh, okay. It's, it's a classic, it's a classic. Some people like yeah. avocado, like that sounds 
gross. Why would I want to drink it? It adds a creaminess, almost like, it, yeah, almost like a milk. But I think milk almost doesn't mix as well as the avocado almost does with the, because I think it, it, it takes away a bit of the bite, which, which adds to the flavor, for me at least. All right, so the entrees are here. Our friends got the fall salad and the carne asada tacos. Sam, you got a salad. Yeah, don't have to worry about that going cold. Uh, do you know what's in it? Um, tortilla, crunchy tortilla strips, carrots, avocado, cheese. I wanted to do something a little bit lighter just because I'm super tired, so I didn't want to eat like a crazy heavy meal. Yeah. And you can add proteins to this. You can add chicken, shrimp, or the carne asada. Nice. Plain as is. I do wish okay. there was a little bit more of avocado in it, yeah. but, you know. Alright, so let's see how it tastes. It looks very good. Let's see how it tastes. There is an avocado lime uh, dressing on it. Oh. Ah. I like the dressing a lot. It is super light and super fresh. Avocado is very creamy. I like having the crunch of the uh, tortilla strips mixed in. There's a lot of different textures. And it's, it's beautifully prepared. I like all the vibrant colors. So what would you give it? One out of ten. I would give it a seven. Nice. Yeah, this is exciting thing on the menu. But I wanted just a, something lighter. So yeah, it does. It got the job done, and in a fancy, you know, celebrity chef Mexican food type of way. All right, so I got the mole enchiladas. Just made corn tortillas. Just um, made. Yeah, just now. Yeah, I think there's butternut squash in this as well. Mm. And you also have the queso chihuahua in that as well. Sweet, but still savory. <laughs> wow, that's the most unique enchilada. <laughs> I mean, right? The flavor is so unique. It doesn't taste standard. It's still obviously it's a classic enchilada. The fresh, fresh tortillas change the game when you're having queso or enchiladas. It's very good. Onion adds a little bite. Got some parsley leaves. And you got the sweetness of the butternut squash. Squash with the cheese. I would it's never think of a butternut squash in an enchilada. Look at that eight. I really enjoy that. Very good. I've been very impressed by that. Do you like it better than the Hello Fresh enchiladas that I once made? I don't think it's fair to say because you're my wife. It's okay. I can't, I can't have you battle it out with a celebrity. It's okay. Family. It was Hello Fresh. It wasn't like I like invented the recipe. I have to go back and eat them again. Okay. They, they were very job. good. They were very good. <laughs> I recommend Hello Fresh. I, I'm, I'm not sponsored. I just like <laughs> these are an eight though. I like. Them. Right, so that does it for our time here at Frontera Cocina. Not Cochina. Not Cochina. It's not Italian. Yes. Uh, what was the name of the celebrity chef? Oh my gosh. Rick Bale. Yes. Rick, Rick, Rick Bale. Our friends just helped I us. I knew before. By the I way, tired. their food, the our carne set of tacos, so good. Definitely recommend them. Yeah, I, I would give that, that meat probably, probably like an thing. eight. Um, I thought mine was really good too. I'm not going to lie. I would, I would think they're on the same level. Same level. Uh, I also um, want to say your salad was good. delicious, right? Yeah, good, good. good. Um, I, honestly, Disney's got good Mexican. They don't got good Italian, though. I don't rec recommend any Italian place in Disney. If you know a good Italian spot that's located within Walt we Disney World tried property. Terralina. Oh, you're right. You're right. I got to give Terralina a shot. I'm sorry, Terralina. I haven't tried you yet. It's not fair of me to say that. But I will say that I've had a lot of Mexican at Disney. And I've rarely been disappointed. Um, honestly, uh, San Angel, um, not the Hacienda. San, La Hacienda de San Angel in Epcot, one of my, it's probably my favorite restaurant in Epcot. And this restaurant was amazing. We didn't have dessert because I just, I didn't want to eat too much sugar before bed and stuff. And you know, Frank's got his pup cups. So we got to make sure he gets that on the way home. 
Uh, but I will say that it was an exceptional experience. The restaurant is immaculate, beautiful. Um, they also have an extensive, I believe, tequila collection as well. Uh, so it's tequila it, was not in the cards for us this <laughs> yeah. evening. It was yeah, it's but, for the best. But we had a, a great time. It was uh, you know the food was delicious. Amazing service. Definitely felt like we were dining, uh, you know, at a celebrity chef's restaurant. So. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking would really help our channel grow and push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. To make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, look, you could sit like right on the water. Although we got like an inside spot, which I was I was pretty happy with. You didn't mention that we also dined with amazing friends as well. Well, I brought you them up at the beginning. I brought I brought them up right at the beginning, Zan. Okay, we'll bring yes, them up and then. it was yes, it was great dining with our friends, and they're the ones who suggested this place to us. So. They made the reservation. Yes, thank you, we John and Joanna. We owe it all to them. We do. This vlog is nothing without you.